everybody, it is time for our evening reflection or our nightly meditation, however you like to refer to it. And tonight's thought is my mind is a place of hospitality. And what I mean by that is, well, if you think of it this way, throughout the day, um, we have an endless stream of thoughts that enter our mind and those thoughts spark emotion. And just like the people we meet every day, some of them are great and they are welcome to stay in our life as long as they wish. And some of them are, um, you know, still valid, still worthy, but maybe not people we resonate with. Maybe not people we really want hanging around any longer than they have to. And our thoughts and our emotions are the same way. Some of those thoughts and some of those emotions that enter our mind are wonderful and they can stay as long as they want. And some of them we'd rather usher out as quickly as possible. But regardless of who or what enters um, our life and the thoughts and emotions that enter our mind each day, our goal is to keep our mind a place of warmth and a place of um, hospitality, you know, a place that is warm and inviting. And we never want to get to a place where we're feeling closed off and where we're pushing people away and where we're rejecting our emotions and rejecting our thoughts simply because, um, you know, we don't want to deal with the negatives. So unfortunately, negativity is part of life and struggle is part of life. But um, for every one negative, there's so many more positives. And for that reason, we want to make sure that we keep our mind a place of invitation because also the more inviting and the more warm and the more loving uh, and kind we are, um, that's, the, that's the more energy we attract. You know, if, uh, if we keep that warmth and we keep that openness, we tend to attract the same warmth and love and kindness towards us. So our thought tonight is my mind is a place of hospitality. And tonight's meditation is a bit more, um, image heavy. So, um, I know a lot of times we don't, um, say you should close your eyes, but, um, you know, we say it's optional and of course it's still optional now, but I do encourage you for this one to close your eyes. Um, even if you don't keep them closed the whole time, um, there's a lot of imagery here and sometimes it's easier to focus on that imagery with our eyes closed. Um, also, if you find it difficult to focus with any of our meditations, again, it comes back to the breath and the trick with meditation is very simple. It's just focusing on the breath and allowing the breath to be your guide. And actually that was our meditation last night. So if you're having trouble with your meditations at all or calming the mind or relaxing the body at the end of the day, I highly suggest checking that one out again. It goes a little bit more in depth onto how to control and connect with the breath. So with that being said, either take your comfortable seated position or relax into a reclined position on the couch or the bed, whatever you wish. And we'll go ahead and get started with our meditation tonight. So placing the hands over the knees or in the lap, or maybe the hand on the chest and belly, whatever feels best for you. We'll close our eyes and relax with the breath. And the first thing we'll do to settle in is do that scan of our body, looking for areas of tension, specifically in areas like the face, the shoulders, the back, and if we identify any of those areas that feel tense or tight, we'll direct the breath there, allowing those muscles to soften with each breath. And as we continue the breath, we'll feel our mind and our body begin to relax. And we'll turn our attention to any thoughts in our mind and just ask them to gently exit the mind for a moment knowing that we can return to them at a later time. But right now, giving ourselves this time and space to relax, and to be calm and reflect in a quiet, serene space, void of any extra thought. See if you might be able to adjust your posture, either sitting a bit taller, or just relaxing the body heavier and see if you can deepen the breath, allowing those inhales and exhales to last as long as possible. Feel the entire body expand and contract with the breath. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. And let's bring our hands back to the heart for a moment. 
while we're here, connect with the heartbeat. And let's go ahead and call to mind an image of a room or a house that feels calm, warm, welcoming, inviting. Think of what the exterior of this house looks like. And then moving inside into the room or into the home. How do you feel upon entering this space that is warm, inviting, kind and open? What do you see? What colors? What decor? What furniture? Maybe even call to mind who might be there. And as you take your time painting this picture of this warm and inviting space, let a feeling of peace and comfort wash over you knowing that this is a place you are welcome. And as we continue on with our meditation, try and hold on to this picture, maybe even building on, keeping hold of what this place looks like, warm and inviting peaceful and calm. Relaxing our hands back down, and again, you can either keep the eyes closed or you can go ahead and open them, whatever feels best for you. But we'll begin to focus deeper on this thought, my mind is a place of hospitality. Throughout the day, endless thoughts enter my mind, sparking an endless stream of emotions. I imagine my mind as a guest house. Each day, new guests arrive. Sometimes the guests are pleasant, like joy, peace, love, and excitement. And other times, these guests are less desirable, like anger, jealousy, anxiety, or depression. Some of these guests stay for just a fleeting moment and others hang around far longer. But each guest leaves behind valuable lessons. Each guest serves me in their own way, whether clearing my mind house of things that hold me down or supplying it with things I never realized I needed. Each guest is a gift in its own time. Each guest has a purpose, whether I realize it or not. I embrace the good ones and I tolerate the not so good ones. I keep my mind a place of hospitality, a place lacking judgment, a place of light, love and warmth regardless of who or what shows up from day to day. My mind is a beautiful place. I don't let a little bit of clutter, a little bit of dust, or a little need for renovation tarnish the beauty of its unbreakable structure and its steady foundation. My mind has the power to calm my entire being Peace within creates peace outside. I take a moment to ground myself at the end of each day. I ask myself, what about my life has me feeling secure and anchored? What about my life makes me feel warm and welcome like a beloved guest? As I relax into this hospitable frame of mind, I feel the contents of my mind begin to spill out, leaving behind an empty space to be filled with nothing but peaceful reflection. Even so, thoughts tend to find their way back into my mind, like tiny ants find their way through the smallest of cracks. Before I know it, one ant has become many. In the same way, sometimes my thoughts take over one thought rolls into another, and another, 
and another. And before I know it, that one thought has become an endless stream of subconscious chatter. I do not reject them. I do not become annoyed with their presence or overwhelmed by their demands. I acknowledge their existence. And then I catch all of these thoughts. I gather them up one by one. And I gently escort them back out where they belong, having overstayed their welcome. With a simple exhale and nothing but loving respect, I release these thoughts back on their way, leaving behind once again nothing but a quiet, reflective space in my mind. Just as unwelcome guests will soon be on their way, unwelcome thoughts can be dismissed as well. Unwelcome guests and unwelcome thoughts will not ruin my sense of hospitality. I meet them with love, understanding, and respect. And then I release the weight that these unwelcome thoughts place on me. My mind is in control. I release the burden and enjoy the feeling of weightlessness as I clear my mind and once again restore it to a place of welcome. My mind is a place of hospitality. Let's bring our hands back to our heart, connecting with the heartbeat. And again, call your mind to this imagery of this warm and welcoming space. Examine every detail, acknowledging what about this space makes it feel so warm and inviting. knowing that you can always find your way back to this place of warmth and welcome. And knowing that regardless of who or what enters our life each day, we have the power to keep our mind a place of hospitality. And let's take in one more deep breath together. Inhale. And exhale. And relaxing the hands back down and opening the eyes. We'll end once more by saying, My mind is a place of hospitality. Wishing you all a beautiful evening. Love you dearly.